Okay, so now we're going to get into step three where we're going to get to get the images that go along with the text in our poem, we'll get them to be the right size, we'll get them to come into the stage when that line of text comes and get them to move or animate in some way. So, so far they're all on the screen, they're showing. We need to add that when flag is clicked, that they will not be there. So I'll start with the sun. When green flag is clicked, it wants to hide. And we're going to show it. We're going to use that message again. So when it receives a message, then it's going to show up. And then when it shows up, we'll get it to animate. We'll set the size, all those things. So let's say for the sun, the new message is going to be sun. So when it receives that message, then it's going to show up. And we can add some more uh, blocks of code to have it do other stuff. But we have these two things. We want to basically add them to all of the sprites. So I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm going to drag them over there. We'll do that for each of the sprites. Okay, so now I just have to go back and change the names of the messages. So I'm going to receive, this one is, this is summer. That's the end. That's this one. When you copy the blocks of code and they all kind of stack on top of each other, so you just have to spread them out. This one's the grass. So there's my son. I want it to show when it receives the message. So I want that message to go with the line of text that talks about the sun, which was, which one? Let's see. Well, I'll just start in order. I'll do the strawberries first. So tastes like strawberries. That's my first line. If I click the sprite, it flashes, so I know that's the one. So along with broadcast, I want to broadcast that strawberry to come in. Oops. So it's going to wait. I want my reader to read it. Strawberry. Okay, I'll add another. Wait time. Let's just do five seconds. Okay, so I want to test that and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to stop it so I have everything on the stage there. At six seconds seemed too long, so I'm going to change that to four. Make that a little shorter too. And now the strawberries are obviously way too big and they're not in the spot that I would like them to be. So I'm going to make sure I click the strawberry sprite and I'm going to change how it looks. I don't want it to be that big so I'm going to set size by a certain percentage and I can go ahead and put that in the wind green flag because I don't want that to happen all the time. Let's see 50 percent. I bet. So when it receives the message, it's going to show up. I also want it to start sort of where that strawberry line is. I'm going to have it seem like it's going to fly in from the outside. So when I want it to start somewhere, I'm going to put it there. Then I'm going to go to the motion and bring out go to. So you see the X and the Y coordinates. I don't want to have to worry about figuring out what they are. It'll automatically show me what position it is when I move that sprite on the stage. So I want it to be kind of off there somewhere. So it already sets the coordinates for me. I can put that under green flag. I always want it to, to start there. But when it shows up, 
then I want it to move. So I want it to glide. I can have it go to a certain spot, but it's going to flash right to that spot. I want it to glide over. So I have the glide for how many seconds? That's going to be sort of the speed of the glide, then where it ends. So I don't want to mess around with figuring out when it ends. I'm just going to put the strawberry where I want it to be. I want it to glide to here. So I'm going to finally bring out that glide block. Then I want it to glide to here. I want to end there, so I'm going to move it first, then bring out the block. Then I want it to glide away. So I move it first, then I bring out that motion block. When it gets there, then I want it to go away. I want it to hide. Okay, let's test that out. Green flag. Okay, here comes my strawberries flying in. Great. I think it's just luck that the timing worked out. it was four seconds and then broadcasted. So there are a couple of things I could do. If it didn't work out, I could change that time, the wait time to be longer for the strawberry to go across. Or if I don't want to guess, I can take that broadcast, the second line, and I can put it into the strawberry. So that now, whenever that strawberry is done, that's when that next line is going to come out. Two ways to do it. Okay, I'm going to leave that one there. But I need to take it off here. I don't need two broadcasts and I don't need the wait anymore. So I'm going to do the same process for each of the pictures, each of the line of text. Okay, so I'll go to the pool. It's going to come in when I receive splash. So here's my pool text. I'm going to broadcast splash. Okay, I kind of like the way of putting the broadcast on the sprite. So I'm just going to keep doing that. So now I want to add something else to my splash picture. I'm going to make it change colors. So the strawberry comes in. So when that splash picture comes in, I want something else for it to do. So I'm going to have it change color. So we're going to bring out in looks, change color by 25. You can also do different effects like fisheye, whirl, pixelate, mosaic, brightness, ghost. I'm going to try the color. So if I just add that onto my string when I receive that message, we'll see what it looks like. So it changed it a little bit, but it only changes it once. What I want to do is I want it to change different colors all the time. So I need. Okay, so I'm going to switch my change color effect to 10. Then I want it to repeat. So I'm going to put it into a forever block. and I'm going to add that onto my when green flag is clicked. So it's going to be forever changing the color by 10. Let's see how that looks. So there now it's flashing. It's got it doing something else. Then at the end, it hides and broadcasts that line to show line three. So now I can do the same thing to the other lines. Then I can change the color. I can have it do a different motion as it comes in.
Okay, so maybe you get to the point where you want an image not to come up to cover up any of the text. So that's going to be in the looks. And we want to move it to the front or to the back. In this case, right now, it's in front of all the other sprites. These are all represent different layers, so I want to move it to the back. That way it'll be behind the text when it shows up. Okay, so at the end of this one, it's going to wait for six seconds. It's going to broadcast end. So I want an ending, which is going to be another backdrop. So this is your choice. You can find another one, upload it. You can hit the surprise button, see what you get. You can paint your own. I'm going surprise. A grid. Okay. So I'm going to add some text. Let's convert to a vector. And this is going to be the end. So when I get to that picture, it's going to show, it's going to go to the back. I have it going to the one spot, it's going to wait, and it's going to broadcast end. So now I need everything to clear out, except, well, I think I'll keep this guy. So it's going to broadcast end. When that backdrop receives end, it's going to show. Then when everything else receives end, I want it to hide. So the splash is hidden already, strawberry is hidden already, grass, everything else is hidden already, sun, I'll have the sun stay, and the guy in the hammock stay. Everything else is going to go. So events, when I receive end, Then I can just copy that one into receive end. It's going to switch to this backdrop. Switch to this one. Okay. Oops. Got to hide it. Flag is clicked. I want my start background. There we go. Okay, so it can get kind of confusing trying to manage all the messages and broadcasts. Just try to make it as simple as possible, and we'll see what you can do.